Right then, what I'm going to do, I've sterilised this, I'm going to put uh, half a spoon in each one, and that's been sterilised as well, so I'm going to whack it into the bottles, see what happens. Sugar, I suppose the first one will stick, so half a spoon of sugar in each one. Bit of uh, Benny Hill music. So that's that done. Right then, that's how I get on with this then. So I've got me two bride it to the bottom. And up we go. There's not. Put it. Oops, Peter. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Lying in the morning. Way and up she rises. Way and up she rises. Way and up she rises. Lying in the morning. Shave his bell of the rusty razor. Shave his bell of the rusty razor. Shave his bell of the rusty razor. Lying in the morning. Way and up she rises. Now the reason this has got a label on it is because I can't get them off. What do you do when a drunken sailor? What do you do when a drunken sailor? What do you do when a drunken sailor? Now, I quite enjoyed doing that because it went quite well, but there's still a bit of beer in the barrel, and I've only got, I think it's 30 bottles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid back on, on the, uh, on the uh, fermenter, and then as my bottles go down, which they will do quite rapidly, I'll give them a clean, sterilise them, and, uh, you know, whack the rest in. I don't know whether I'm doing it right or wrong, but uh, like I say, I'm a bit of an amateur now. I've got to get up off here now, so here goes. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> 